Hello again, everyone. It's Todd Starooch, the horror nerd, here at Scares That Care Charity Weekend 7 down in Williamsburg, Virginia. We are here on the second day of the convention. Things are picking up. We're getting very busy. I have the honor of sitting here with the legendary, the talented, and the beautiful Miss Byling. Bye. How are you doing today? I'm good. Uh, thank you for interviewing me. I'm, I'm only 26 years old, but I've done a lot of movies. <laughs> so very happy to be here and uh, talking with you. Are you having a good time at Scares That Care this weekend? Yeah, I had a fantastic time. A lot of fans who had a fantastic panel and a lot of fans asked fantastic questions. Not only that, because for me, convention is great and a great opportunity to bring us here to meet all the fans. And also, I went to the uh, Colonia Williamsburg. I saw the American culture, the old town, like a 300 years old, mm -hmm. uh, like 18th century, so all this uh, courtroom, the palace, all the different, how they make dresses, all of that. It's just refreshing for me. It's a gift for me. Not only my fans also learn about American culture. So uh, Newport News, I never heard of this town mm -hmm. until now. Mm, the big Navy base in Newport oh, News. Oh yeah. yeah, I heard it's an army base. I want to go. Yeah. Where is that? <laughs> well, I don't know if they if you're allowed to tour oh, or yeah, whatever because not. I know they're currently constructing a new aircraft carrier right, right. in Newport News. Mm -hmm. So, but yeah, big Navy base there. Yeah, so I'm yeah. glad you got to experience that. Yes, Williamsburg's yes. a great town. Yes, yes. So, by obviously everyone, I'm going to hold up one of your photos here. Obviously, everybody knows you probably from The Crow, your most yes. famous. <laughs> famous role but you do a lot of movies all the time so other than the crow do you have a personal favorite of all the roles that you've done or maybe it is the crow you know it's funny I have a uh, eight little spirit in me so which are eight different personalities there's a mischievous ones there's crazy ones or sexy ones there's a shy ones there's sophisticated ones there's elegant ones so they're all part of me so all my character like I do comedy like crank 2 mm -hmm. the crow sci-fi, Red Corner drama, Lost, oh, I, I do all kinds of genre of film. I'm equally very good. This is all my spirit. My A spirit, like, come out to have fun. So for me, it's like, I cannot really see which role I like the best, but it's all part of me, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? Wherever the role play, I give part of myself. Of course, Crow special because it was my very first Western movie. I did not speak English, and also because what happened to Brandon Lee right. then become something uh, very significant in uh, film history, in Hollywood film history. So it's become a classic film, and uh, somehow I always feel his presence every time I talk about him. Mm. So personally, like uh, yesterday in the panel, I said, I don't believe there's a death. I think our body worn out, but the spirit have no age, no time. They're always there. So that's something also I appreciate film because what happened to Brian Lee, how magical film is, no matter what happened to him or to us, that moment we captured gonna be there forever, exactly like the moment we captured. Right, that's right. cinema, is timeless, live forever. That's something, um, that's why I love about cinema, it's the magic. Mm. Very interesting. I, you talk about your panel. I, I, like I mentioned to you, your panel yesterday was very entertaining. Oh, so, funny! Right? Yes, Thank it was you. great hearing about all your different roles. Thank you. And Thank you, you. Talk, you did a lot of genre films. So my yes. daughter is following in my footsteps, liking horror films. We watched an independent film you were in called Bloodshed. Right, right. That was, and your role was very funny. I think you were either a. a, a I haven't even seen it. Really? really? Is it funny? Yeah. Well, you were. I think you were either sure. a drug addict or a prostitute. Yeah, or maybe yeah. both. Yeah, both. <laughs> you both. Know? But it's it was funny, it was really? very funny. It was entertaining. Oh my like God. it was it was gory and entertaining at the wow, same time. So it was very good. You haven't seen it yet. Some film I haven't seen it. Yes. Well, so your IMDb is like 135 films, yeah, and I'm really? always surprised to hear like I never I haven't even seen that one yet. <laughs> I know, I know. But like talking about horror film, like dumplings, I won the Asian Academy Award for the extremes. It's yeah. A beautiful dumplings. If you watch the long version of dumplings, better than the extreme, uh, extreme, extreme. Mm. It's just very, very modern. Very, very different. Mm. My role, I portray somebody totally different from me, not like Biling anymore. <laughs> so that's something I hope your fans check it out. Sure. Film. Mm. Sure. 
Now, one movie I do want to ask you about because it sounded amazing in your panel. You have a movie coming up about a strange relationship you had with toilet paper <laughs> based on the pandemic. Can you tell us a little yes, bit more about that? Uh, the film is called uh, My Quarantine Romance with Toilet Paper because uh, bec this is actually conceived, uh, comes pregnant. <laughs> I, I'm in love with toilet paper. I get conceived, a baby, right? Then the baby actually nurtured and giving birth during the pandemic. It's a pandemic's baby, but it's so powerful. Not only that, but it's so funny. He learns. I think I naturally have a sense of humor. It's just so funny. Toilet paper. I said, oh my God, I have toilet paper. Can you imagine the whole history in our world? Nobody ever worried about toilet paper. Right. <laughs> I said, maybe I actually writing a song about toilet paper in my, in my movie. I said, if I give you all of toilet paper, that's my song. I wrote it <laughs> yesterday. Um, I, I tell you that. Um, if you give me all of toilet paper, I'll be your wife forever, forever. Is that funny? That's great. Right? That's my song. <laughs> That's Anyways, great. Rosa. So it's like toilet paper. I said, maybe I didn't treasure toilet paper. I didn't say, I love you enough, therefore you disappear, right? <laughs> it's like something uh, we learn about life. It's like something only when you don't have it, you start to miss right. it. Right, right. That Simple is true. Thing. That is so true. So that film was, um, it's, I made my, my uh, director debut film. First time I direct, I write, I star in it. And with no finance. And meantime, I don't get paid. I don't have work. Mm -hmm. I said, what am I going to do? Because 12 noon, I still have a whole day to go. I cannot drink coffee. Oh, there's so much time. I have nothing to do. <laughs> what am I going to do? I go crazy. You cannot go out. You cannot hang out. You must. It's like you're in your cage somewhere. I go crazy. I say, I must do something. I'm a quitter, must quit. Mm. So, all my fans, but it's all come from the real experience. I don't have toilet paper. My fans like, Bailey, you don't have money, you don't have script. I didn't have script. I write for the person I'm afford to cast because mm. I don't have money. He said, uh, you don't have money, you don't have script. How the hell you can make a movie? <laughs> I said, they said Steven Spielberg wouldn't do that. I said, because I'm bilingual, because I have a universe behind me. Universe so powerful. It's totally supported by uni universe. I just have to trust it. I just have to do it. It's something, you know, they said, oh, do you have distribution? Do you have this? And I said, don't ask me the question. If I have everything, I will never do. If the studio movie, they're still trying to figure out my script. Who wrote to change my script, right? You never get made. I said, Take one step at a time, like baby learning walking, right? Mm -hmm. You say, can you run? They have to fully run and they start talk. Walk, you cannot. You just take one step at a time. In anything you do, anything you love. Like you have a lot of young filmmakers here. Mm -hmm. So just do it. Start from one step. Then that step will lead to second. The second will lead to the next one. Don't prepare everything. Just will you, It's most important is the passion. It's the passion in the subject, the story you want to tell that is loyal to your heart is honesty. That's the most important. It's not about money, glamour. Like you interview me, it's not because of me, it's what I've done. Sure. What I've done sure. attract people, good work, people reward you. But. You can come, you can go, you can hold on to it. So what you can hold on to to make you fulfilled, happy, is the thing, the craft, is the thing you love to do. You love to, even I don't get paid nothing, but I love to get my time. I'm having great time. So when you have feeling that, that means you find the right profession. If you there go for money, for fame, you'll be miserable. Mm. So that's something you have to really know, because everybody has different talent. Sure. We're all stars, but we're just different. Like you do interview, your doctor, your nurses, your lawyer, we're just different. And your chef, anybody can be a superstar if you do so well in the profession you do. Words of wisdom from Bai Ling, yes, everybody. Yes. Those are great words. Thank you. Thank so, Bai, I don't. I you. The, it's starting to get busy here, so I don't want to keep you from right. your fans. I'm so grateful that you gave me a few minutes of thank your time. You. Thank you. It was a thrill to get to sit here with you for thank a few you. minutes. Thank you. I just want. I want to tell all your fans. Go for it. Follow me at I am Bai Ling or Real Bai Ling Twitter. I'm Bai Ling Instagram because I give fat-free, sugar-free cookies. It's a little sweetness, but with a lot of wisdom. You gain so much daily, I give that.
Any idea when your uh, my quarantine paper, relationship my quarantine with toilet, toilet paper is my, gonna my, come out? <laughs> my quarantine romance with my oh, toilet okay. paper. <laughs> I don't have toilet paper. I give a toilet paper. My fan, literally, first time I meet my fan because I don't have toilet paper. I have to go online. I said, Yeah, I meet you, but do you have toilet paper? Can you? I will meet you, but can you bring some toilet paper? They were like, e Toilet paper? I said, Yes. No, nothing. Toilet paper. They were looking at me like she's crazy. But they meet me. They bring me toilet paper. We have six feet apart. This is funny. I never imagined I'm a fan meet you the first time I gave you toilet paper. It's so funny. That is the best story I've ever heard. Right. It really so is. So that's my story. It's so funny because it's so little thing. But it's about love, about relationship. People come to exchange toilet paper with me. But the, the story is so much larger than just toilet paper. <laughs> so And also, it's me dedicated to everybody in this particular time. Also, it's dedicated to our history, our current time. Everybody actually suffering. But there's so much beauty you can learn. So my quarantine romance with toilet paper, I think will come out next year because now we're still in quarantine mm. I think when it's finished my film have much more power so people can go back to love it you know now we're still in it we're struggle so right. I wait for next year fantastic Biling everybody here at scares that care charity weekend in Williamsburg I wish you much success in all of your thank projects you, you. and have a great rest of the weekend and thank again you. thank you so much for spending some time with me it really was an honor thank you and thank all your fans <laughs> be safe take care of yourself love yourself respect yourself Biling everybody Horner Todd Starooch signing off from Scares the Care Charity Weekend. We will see all of you in the next interview.